Dan here from R.A. Fisher, and today we are talking to we're talking to Dr. Price from uh, Hamzavi Dermatology. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Yep, you got it. That's pretty All good. right, perfect. So Dr. Price is one of the dermatologists that we have been working with recently on some hyperhidrosis and iontophoresis referrals. And so I wanted to uh, have this little meeting with her today uh, and ask her just a couple of questions about, you know, some of the things that she looks for when diagnosing hyperhidrosis patients. And still too, we, we deal with a lot of dermatologists uh, who don't have a lot of understanding of iontophoresis, who've maybe heard of it, but have never prescribed it. And so I'd love to hear your kind of, uh, you know, thinking behind that. And so if we could start just, you know, telling us a little bit more about you, how long have you been, you know, practicing dermatology and, uh, what, and what do you love about it? Yeah. So, uh, yep, I'm a board certified dermatologist. I finished my residency in 2013. Um, and so, yep, Derm has been a fantastic experience for me. I love being able to help patients and let, see the payoff. And patients love it too, obviously. So that's a, it's a very rewarding field in that way. Um, and, you know, especially in terms of hyperhidrosis or excessive sweating, even within our experience with teledermatology, um, diagnosis has been easy to achieve. Oftentimes patients will send us photos of a dripping palm mm. or the feet that are glistening. You can see it even in um, photography related to teledermatology. So in that way, we've been able to continue our efforts in helping these patients. Now, are there any kind of experiences that patients relate to you? Uh, because it's something that from my experience, you know, excessive sweating is something that a lot of patients have just learned to live with. So when they come to you, is there anything that specifically kind of really motivated them to take that next step? Or what have you kind of experienced? Yes, I had one patient who relayed to me that she had been suffering with this as long as she can remember, but she didn't realize it was a diagnosable and treatable condition. Right. And so that's kind of sad to hear, but glad that she came to, you know, uh, to us for treatment eventually. Um, and so, yeah, a lot of times patients, if it's on the hands, will have trouble with grip or even um, if they're handling papers or electronics as it relates to their education or their job, their papers will get wet or their electronics will be wet and then they're worried about you know, damage or malfunction to those. Um, for their feet, oftentimes they're going through shoes and socks more frequently than people otherwise would, or they've had experiences where they slip wearing sandals especially, so they just as a rule don't wear sandals. Um, for patients who are like very active or like to participate in sports or other athletics, it can affect their ability to do so. Um, so yeah, we've had kind of a range of experiences. Throughout right. I think one of the challenges too, is that a lot of people, maybe they're told at a younger age that, oh, it's just clammy hands or, oh, you're just nervous. So, you know, there's a lot of misinformation out there. And then that's why people can go for years and years, like you said, not knowing that it's just a very easily diagnosable condition. And there's a lot of solutions out there for. Yeah, absolutely. And so speaking of kind of solutions, because there are a lot of different things that patients can try out there nowadays, from topicals to oral medications, wipes, injections, all kinds of things. Um, is there, you know, we've been working with iontophoresis referrals. And so maybe for some dermatologists who aren't familiar with iontophoresis, uh, could you give a little bit of, you know, what you know about it and maybe some of the patients that are a good fit for iontophoresis? Right. So iontophoresis is an at-home procedure for patients. Um, and basically what it does is it helps, uh, you know, these place their hands in the device, usually just with tap water, and the minerals and tap water are infused into the glands, forming a blockage. So they have a resultant decrease in sweating. Um, and I think, uh, you know, patients who are good candidates for iontophoresis would include, you know, people who've tried the topical preparations like dry saw and maybe got a significant irritation or eczema on the hands or even in the underarms or certainly the feet. Um, you know, systemic treatments like glycopyrrolate or other anticholinergics can sometimes have adverse effects in terms of dry eye, dry mouth, or urinary mm -hmm. retention. Um, so some, you know, dry eye is actually a quite common condition. And so a lot of people will experience a significant exacerbation in that when they try the glycopyrrolate. And so that can affect their, you know, daily living as well. Right. Um, for uh, the glycopyrrolate wipes, um, that could be a fine, you know, it's FDA approved for the uh, underarms, but hands, it's not a great option, especially touching other areas. And then um, you can have adverse effects from that. Mm -hmm. Um, chemo denervation is also an excellent option for some locations, but um, administering those injections in the hands and feet can be 
highly uncomfortable, although we can do various numbing interventions for that. And then the risk of um, weakness of the intrinsic hand muscles uh, with that. So, you know, uh, again, effects on grip and things of that nature. So iantaphoresis uh, can be a great option for patients who are dealing with hyperhidrosis on the hands and feet. Um, it's nice because it's an at-home treatment and it's more frequent at first, but as they start to develop the effect, um, they can do the treatments less frequently and maintain that effect. Right. And so at Ari Fisher, one of the things is that every patient is personally assigned to a treatment specialist yes. who works with them to develop that treatment schedule, who helps them understand this is how you want to use it at first to really see results as fast as possible. But then ultimately, here's how we're going to help you wean off of the using the device so you can create a maintenance schedule that really fits into your schedule comfortably. I say for most patients I end up working with, they only end up needing to use the device long term, like once every couple of weeks to maintain those symptoms long term. So you're right, for all those reasons, it is a really nice fit for hyperhidrosis patients, uh, especially some younger patients that we work with, because as you said, it's all natural. So all you're using is, are those minerals and tap water. There's none of the adverse side effects that can some, come with some of those other things. Uh, and so maybe for any dermatologists who are out there listening and saying, hey, you know, I've never prescribed iantaphoresis before. What are the next steps? Could you talk a little bit about what it's been like uh, working with us here at RA Fisher? Yeah, I mean, as a physician, I think the main barriers to prescribing iantaphoresis include access. So where do I send my patient for this device? Mm -hmm. How do I see if their insurance will cover it? And then, yeah, taking charge of uh, the treatment routine you know, having the patient bring in the device and running through it with them in the office is quite cumbersome. And then they get home and they might be like, I don't remember what they said, you know? Yeah. So working with Ari Fisher has been excellent because it's an easy source. We know the patient's going to get a high quality device. And then with the treatment specialist, helping to guide the patient through their initial treatments. And as you said, kind of that weaning down process, getting them to a place where it's very easily, you know, logistics wise for the patient to maintain that. Um, it's been great because it helps drop that barrier for physicians to explore antiphoresis as a treatment option for their patients. Right. And then so we get asked for forms and things like that all the time. You know, do you have an RX authorization form? What do I fill out? How do I fill out the prescription pad? What do I write? So for anyone who has questions out there, all of that is available on our website, rafisher.com. We have a great for physicians and doctors section where you can grab all those resources and also under our forms and download guides page. We have everything from in our insurance packet. As Dr. Price said, we are able to check into patients uh, benefits and eligibility. We're even able to file prior authorization requests, file claims for patients when we do work with the insurance company and are able to work with their policy. But then we also have resources that walk them through reimbursement. How can they still get the device out of pocket? What do they need to submit to their insurance company to get that applied toward their deductible or refunded if there's any difference? Uh, and so we have a lot of resources out there, just like you said. Uh, and so Dr. Price, thank you so much for joining me today. I'll let you get back to uh, to your to your day of, of uh, in, in the derm world and, and treating patients. But uh, again, it's really been a pleasure working with you. It's always nice when we can work with a dermatologist's office that is very communicative, uh, that follows up with patients' paperwork and gets it over to us in a really timely manner. That's a large challenge too, especially with COVID and everything that's going on, is we work with patients a lot. And when we have to file prior authorization requests, there's paperwork that we need. And it can be frustrating for patients when we end up faxing something over and don't hear back from that office for you know days, if not weeks, whatever it is. And so having your office and your team uh, be very communicative, send things back to us very quickly has always made our job a lot easier. I know we appreciate it. We know our patients appreciate it. And so the Ari Fisher has made it easy on us. Um, you know, we have saved that paperwork that we need. Um, and so we just run through it with the patient, fax it straight away. It's been an easy process for us and our patients. So we appreciate that as well. Great. All right, Dr. Price, well, you have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Thank you, you too. All right, bye-bye.